Hello everybody, my name is Michael from Polygon Island and welcome to a new series I'm starting called Blender Quick Tips. This series is basically anything that can be done in about 3 minutes and the first episode is making EV emission objects cast light onto other objects. Now if you know what EV does, um, like compared to cycles, let's say we have a, um, a sphere, right? We bring up the sphere and we give it an emission shader with like a value of 10 shift a and then add a plane scale up the plane and then we go to cycles and we turn the world setting to black we delete this light and we go into render view so obviously this casts light because uh, it's an emission shader it's going to cast light onto the plane but if we go over here to eevee we can see that it doesn't it doesn't cast any light whatsoever onto the plane that's under it so how do we make that change? How do we make emission objects cast light? So what you would do is shift A and then go down to light probe and then click irritance volume. Size the irritance volume to where it covers your entire scene. And then just go over here to this little um, object data properties right here. And then change the resolution to about 10 on the X, Y, and Z axis. And now once we have that, all we have to do is go to our render tab up here at the very top. We can turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. Make sure screen space reflections is on and half res trace is off. And then just go to indirect lighting and then bake indirect lighting. And then that will bake your lighting. And once the lighting is finished baking, which could take a little bit depending on how big your scene is. Um, this is here, I got about 12 seconds remaining. So we're just going to wait for this to bake. And then once this happens, we can go back into render view and we should be able to see that our object is now casting light onto the scene. And it is. So the light, um, our object is now casting light on the scene, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, if you really wanted to, you could change the resolution up more, maybe to something like 25, which is really high. And then just do this. Um, and then once you do that, we can bake our indirect lighting again. And I'll be back once this bakes. So we're back, and I changed the resolution. Uh, I had to change it back to 15 because it was going to take too long on 25. But we see at 15 that um, those cubes are kind of like smaller and more smoothed out. You can also go down here to radiance smoothing and then change this to a higher value to smooth it out more. Um, but yeah, that's basically how to make EV objects cast light uh, very fast. Not a lot of people know that you can really do that, um, especially new people, experienced people, probably. But uh, this is just a quick tip, um, and I'll be making more of these. So make sure to subscribe. Those get my videos out to more people. And my name is Michael from Polygon Island. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.